Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today's problem is number 14 on the new General Curriculum Math subtest. It's a nice problem involving the divisibility rules. We'll start by reading it over and then we'll walk through some of these concepts involved, okay? Let's begin. It says for number 14, which of the following statements is enough to confirm that a number n is divisible by 36? And then we have these four statements. Is it enough to say that n is divisible by 6? Or n is divisible by both 4 and 9? Or that n is divisible by both 3 and 12? Or n is divisible by both 2 and 18? Now you'll notice in this problem, the word divisible appears throughout the problem. And this is going to be a key concept. So when, when we say something like, n is divisible by 36. I think it's important to note what this is saying is that n can be divided by 36 evenly without there being a remainder. Now, there are only a few numbers out there that can be divided by evenly, evenly by 36 without there being a remainder. We call them multiples of 36. Like, for example, n could be 36 or 72 or 108. In order for 36 to go into these, these numbers here, n has to be a multiple of 36, okay? All right, so this is just reinforcing this idea, but it's, it's not really a rule that, to, that will prove, that will tell us uh, the answer here. We're, we're trying to come up with a, a divisibility rule for 36. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we knew the divisibility rule for 36? Then it should be pretty easy. So let's, uh, let's talk about the divisibility rules a little bit, and then we'll talk about how to find the divisibility rule for a number like 36. So let's start with numbers that you know. Like a number is divisible by 2 if the number n is even. Like 6 can be divided by 2, 12 can be divided by 2, uh, 10 can be divided by 2 because 6, 12, and 10 are even. That's divisibility rule of 2. How about another one? Okay, let's do divisibility of 3. A number is divisible by 3 if, if the sum of the digits add up to a number that's divisible by 3. Let me give you an example. 12. Is it divisible by 3? Well, the digits 1 and 12, 1 and 2, come up with a number that can be divided by 3. So 12 is divisible by 3. Or 144, is that divisible by 3? Well, we take the digits in 144, we add them up, we get 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. So 144 is divisible by 3. Now, we can keep going with the divisibility rules, but what we're trying to find out is the rule for 36. We're trying to find out what, what makes a number n divisible by 36. If we could get that rule, Outside of knowing that a number that's, div that's divisible by 36 has to be divisible by 36. <laughs> beyond that, beyond this understanding, if we could have a general rule, that would save us a lot of time. So that's what I'm going to do right now, team. I'm going to talk about how you find out the divisibility rules for numbers like 36 or 12 or 18. Ones that aren't as uh, maybe uh, recognizable, like the 2, the 3. So let's do 36. The first thing you do for 36 is you write out its factors, the numbers that go into 36 evenly, like 1 and 36, that's a factor pair, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and then 6 in the middle. Now, we're looking for something called relative primes. In this case right here, I'm going to circle 4 and 9. 4 and 9 are examples of relative primes, meaning they don't share any common factors other than 1. When you've taken a number, identified its factors, and can find the, the pair that are made up of relative primes, two numbers that only share one as a common factor, what you've just done is found your two numbers that make up your rule n is divisible by 36 if n is divisible by both 4 and 9. The answer here is b. Let's do this divisibility rule real quick with 12. How do we know a number is divisible by 12? 
Let's do this. Let's try and identify its relative primes. Write out the, the factors. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Now, the relative primes are the values here that only share 1 as a common factor. We don't include the 1 the one in the first one because they always uh, have 1 as a common factor. So we have to look at these other um, factor pairs. The 2 and the 6, they both share a, a 1 and a 2 as factors. So the relative primes for 12 are 3 and 4. So the divisibility rule for 12 is a number is divisible by 12 if it's divisible by both 3 and 4. Team, I know that relative primes may be a new idea, and, and I'm kind of surprised that they even put this on the test. But this would be a way to come up with the rule of how we could prove that n is divisible by 36. We'd have to use the divisibility rule for 36, which says it's divisible by it has to be divisible by its relative primes. In this case, the relative primes for 36 are 4 and 9. So n would have to be divisible by 4 and 9 for it to be a multiple of 36. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL, and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.